What's up guys, Linux Noob here with another video. Now in the past couple of months, I've been trying out many different Linux distributions just to see which one suits my workflow the best. Now this distro hopping obviously included big names like Linux Mint, Ubuntu, Manjaro, to distributions like LXC, LE and a lot of other smaller distributions by that I mean like not that much popular with the Linux community but what I found at the end of the day is I just keep coming back to Peppermint OS 6 as my go-to Linux distribution now in this video I'm going to quickly discuss about why that is why I found Peppermint OS 6 to suit me the best for the stuff I do on my Linux machine so without further ado let's get started Now let's first start with what I'm looking for in the beginning when I'm considering a distribution for myself. Now for me, a Linux distribution should be clutter-free, fast and easy to use, at least reasonably stable while being fully functional to my needs, which basically means it should run all the softwares that I use on my Linux machine and do the stuff I do on a daily basis on my Linux machine. Now of course there are a lot of great Linux distributions out there including the big name ones that I was mentioning seconds ago that does one or the other extremely well, focuses on that and achieves what they are looking for. Like if you look at Linux Mint, it's probably the easiest to use on the bunch while being reasonably stable and functional. Of course, it's a Ubuntu based distribution, so it's a reasonably stable and uh, functional at the same time. The software support is always there. If you want something really, really lightweight and fast, Ubuntu is probably a great option to go. If you want the most functionality and bleeding edge software, as well as customizability, you are probably looking at something like Arch or Manjaro Linux, but what made Peppermint OS really stand out for me is the excellent, excellent balance of all those these things into one single operating system. Now let me explain a bit about what I mean by that. First, let's talk about speed and clutter-free experience. Now, right now in this very machine, I've installed Peppermint OS 6 onto an SSD and it literally takes 5 to 7 seconds to boot from the splash screen to get into the desktop. Literally 5 to 7 seconds. Even on an SSD, that's extremely fast performance to me. And otherwise, this system is not high end by any means. I built this system for around $150 or 10,000 uh, Indian rupees and I'm getting performance of, like you can expect to get on Windows on a PC ranging from $400 or something like that. So and at the same time by clutter free experience I mean that it doesn't whatever that comes in in, in the package doesn't harm you in any way while you're work, working like it doesn't interfere with your workflow you just can't get the job done when you're trying to get something done it doesn't come with a bunch of softwares that i don't need and this is really a problem with a lot of linux distribution these days they just try to pack in a lot of softwares that most of the people won't even be using even if you look something like Ubuntu, I hardly use like 20 to 30 percent of what they pack in, what they pre-install. And yet, look at Peppermint. You can even if you look at the uh, things that they have chosen for file manager, Nemo, probably in my opinion the best uh, file manager out there in Linux. Again, in terms of the balance, the performance, and stability look at the text editor whenever I'm writing a uh, small program or something like that gedit is my go-to text editor you look at the update manager they have brought in the uh, update manager from Linux Mint which is 
my, in my experience, the best update manager out there for Linux. Media player, there's a huge problem for a lot of the Linux distribution, even some of the big name ones, like even if you go to something like Ubuntu, most of the time, the media players that they pack in doesn't play all the uh, file formats that we use on a regular basis. The codecs are not there or something, some sort of problem is always there. Here, they just include one media player, VLC, which in my opinion, again, the best media player out there. It just, it just works, it plays everything you can throw at it, almost everything. So when it comes to a fast and clutter-free experience, for me, Peppermint OS is right up there with the very best Linux distributions out there. Now next up is the balance between functionality and stability. And of course you might disagree with me here, but I think Ubuntu is pretty much the sweet spot for a desktop Linux distribution for this. Like, it's not as rock solid and stable like Debian is, but then again, when we are talking about Debian, we are talking about software that are, that are like years old sometimes, and then we are start to compromise functionality. At the same time, it's not bleeding edge like Arch or Manjaro is. But then again, when you are talking about Arch and Manjaro, we kind of start compromising the stability of the system. So Ubuntu for me, for my needs, for a desktop Linux distribution, Ubuntu is pretty much the sweet spot. Now, your mileage of course may vary. You might be looking for something else for your Linux desktop distribution. You might be looking at bleeding edge software, then of course something like Arch or Manjaro might be better for you. But to me, Ubuntu is the sweet spot. And Peppermint OS being based on the long-term support version 14.04 of Ubuntu benefits from, this, from the same things. It has excellent software support as Ubuntu does, has pretty much all the softwares that I run on a Linux machine and pretty much almost except for just one or two cases it runs the latest softwares or the latest version of the softwares so it just works for me. Now if we talk about customizability, Peppermint OS is decently customizable as well. Like right now if you look at the desktop that I have, it doesn't look anywhere close to how it looks when I first installed it. Uh, and it took me around 10 to 15 minutes at max to get it to the stage that it is right now. I just applied the Peppermint dock theme, installed this. Uh, plank dock at the bottom and uh, install the cu customized icon pack and it was like that's all pretty much I did and it looks extremely different and personalized for me so when you're talking about customizability and functionality again one more thing I want to mention over here th that I mentioned in my review as well I'll probably link that review uh, down in the description below so you can check it out it has the peppermint OS has got this uh, extremely good uh, blend of uh, LXD the lightweightness I might call it uh, of LXD with the functionality of XFCE uh, that that just works so well for me it's still so much lightweight but again it's not as less functional as LXD is it has those functionality stuff a lot of those uh, of XFCE so again it just works without getting into your way now because of this some of you might call peppermint OS as a minimalistic distribution to me I really don't mind a distribution being minimalistic as long as it delivers on the functionality department and peppermint OS for me absolutely does and then being a minimalistic di distribution actually becomes an advantage for me because then it uses less system resources and the same system resources can be used to run other application which I think is a huge plus. So all these things lead up to one great operating system that just works for me. And that's why after so much distro hopping I came back to Peppermint OS 
and I'm absolutely happy that I did. I'll highly recommend you as well to try out Peppermint OS if you haven't done that already before. So that's it for this video. Let me know what you think about this video. Let me know about your opinions about Peppermint OS in the comment section down below. Like the video if you liked it. Give me your feedback on the comment section down below. And of course, do subscribe to the channel for more Linux videos.